Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and to another Wild Horse Islands video. So today I'm basically going to be sharing with you all of the information you need to know about the new update, Stable Island Part 2. I haven't actually done anything new to my island. But yeah, so they've added like quite a lot of information onto the Discord. So I thought I'd share it with those of you who do not have Discord. So yeah. Um, I've not actually read through this. I'm sorry if I get a bit like um, I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, so full update log coming soon. They've already given the full update. P.S. I am reverting the equipped tack accessories. Makes up inventory space change temporarily to allow for some changes to be made. This will then be changed back in the near future. So we will still suggest cleaning out some of those equipped items as soon as you can. Now I think that that has been changed. So let's just do this whole inventory um, information thing first. Because they have changed it all. Um, okay, so they've made a change to the new automatic inventory slot system. You will now earn plus one inventory slot for every six quest points you receive. You used to be able to you used to earn one per ten um, to a maximum of five hundred quest points from quests. Basically, you would hit these at three thousand quest points. So after doing three thousand quest points, you will have the whole amount of inventory space that you can gain from doing quests. Now here's the plan of how they're going to be re-enabling the change that makes equipped accessories and tack take up inventory slots again. Now they have already done this. This has already been put in place. So if you are missing, if you're missing stuff, it's not a bug. It's not anything. It's because your inventory was overfilled and they've done this. Upon logging in, if your inventory is overfilled by a large amount, for example, 100 items overfilled, all equipped tack and accessory items will be unequipped. So only up to the amount that is over. Why is my horse's tail look weird? Only up to the amount that is overfilled that will then be um, unequipped. So, like, say you have a hundred um, overfilled, a hundred items will be unequipped. Um, and they will move them out of your inventory. So you haven't lost them. They've just been moved. Um, into a vault. Reducing your inventory back to the amount it's meant to be. Then you'll be able to take these items out of the vault one by one. As long as your inventory has enough room for them. So the vault is over here. I don't have anything overfilled. But usually you come over here, you click next, and at the top there will be a green thing saying, can I access my items as for my vault thing. Um, this They're doing this to ensure that nobody ends up with a, Sorry, I'm so tired. Nobody ends up with a situation where they're overwhelmed with too many items in their inventory, allowing you to slowly free up space over time. There may a maximum time... Uh, it's not English. I don't know why they've written it like this. Items allow okay, so there's a maximum item allowance in your vault. After which they may add it may be automatically added to your inventory one by one each time you log in. That doesn't make sense. But they've said hope this all makes sense. I'm certain it will help. Um Yeah. So this is now in. So anything that you think you've lost Head over to Shella on mainland and talk to her and see if you can access your stuff out the vault. Um, you can only take it out if you have the inventory space to do so. So make sure you work on getting more inventory space before you uh, try and get them out. So that is the information we have on the inventory. I think that's all the information we have on the inventory. But let's move on to the next point. 
oh no, they have made more changes to inventory. So default inventory capacity is 200. So when you um, log in, you will get 200. You will earn one extra inventory slot for every three levels you level up. Um, max level 750 equals 250 extra inventory slots from player level. Um, so I think I would have got that, I'm not sure. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to show you this. You come to craft and you can craft all of this stuff, which is cool. Um, you will now earn one extra inventory slot for every six quest points you obtain. We've done all that. Um, you will also earn extra inventory slots by completing achievements. So, I don't have any up here, but when you complete an achievement for the game, um, you will then unlock an inventory slot, basically. Uh, I want to give my horse something that's doing blackberries. Um, the maximum amount of inventory slots you can obtain by completing all currently available achievements is 3,118. This will be automatically applied upon logging in. Um, I thought I've done quite a lot of in like things. How much inventory does everyone else have? Because I think I've done a lot of achievements, but I don't think I have gotten the inventory space for it. With the above, oh. with the above four methods in mind, the new max obtainable inventory capacity is 200 at default, plus 250 player level, plus 500 quest points plus 3,118 achievements, plus, um, which equals 4,068, with no game passes or otherwise. Um, this is just things that you do in the game to help you level up. That's, yeah, so you can obtain 4,068 inventory slots just from doing things in the game. Okay, so you cannot increase your inventory space other uh, over 8500 no matter what but the extra inventory space game pass holders get an extra 3500 on top of this making it 12000 in total so if you have a game pass you can get a max of 12000 inventory if you do not you can only get 8500 the game pass is up here and i i own it which is great because I always overfill with inventory. So I think that's all for that. The backpack upgrade kit, when consumed, this new item will increase your inventory capacity by 10. Um, we know that already, I did that in my first video. Um, you can obtain these by finding them in treasure, collecting around the world, which is really rare to find it um, just flying around. Um, daily logins, trade-ins, as well as purchasing for La from Larry for Robux. It is 25 Robux for one. Guys, that is so much money. I will not be buying that. I will not at all. But they're tradable. Cool. But I don't think anyone would trade it. I don't think anyone will. Okay, let's move on. This is like a whole action packed, not action packed, but like this is a whole like filled video to say of information. So it's just a help guide for all of you who are a bit lost in anything. Okay, let's go to island decor. So you can now place any items anywhere you want on your private island. Um, as you can see, I've placed the fairy lights, this tree, and then a well and a tree behind my barn over here this tree I've placed and this well I've placed it all items except a few can be scaled so when you go to put an island decor let's just use this gate you can scale it up or you can scale it down and you can rotate it um, you can place up to a hundred decor items at once 200 with the VIP game pass so they've obviously added a new game pass 
Um, oh no, it's the VIP game pass. But you can add um, 100 more items, so you can add 200 in total. I don't know if it's worth it though. To view your placed items all in one place, enter edit mode on your island and click the decor button at the top of your screen. So this is all my items. From here you can view all of your placed items, how many more items you can add and um, as well as you would have the option to pick up individual items or all your items at once or place more. You can also place more items. Be careful with the pick up all button as you cannot undo it. This may result in you losing your hard work spent placing items in a special way. So basically it's better to just do it one by one. Look at all my events. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. I love that you can now see your horses coming in the outside. The outside bit. None of these guys are. Though. Oh, he is. Cool. Okay. You can craft a handful of items in your bag, obviously. Or you can buy them from the shop on mainland. We will be going there in a little bit. Um, Indiana's shop rotates once every game day. It's the same as all the other shops. Um, no, 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 no. Most of the decor items are not craftable, meaning the only way you can get them is from her shop or trading for them. And now we are heading over to her shop, and I will be telling you the um, the whole decor list, everything you can get. So let's head over there. For some reason, it doesn't come up here saying that there's new decor for sale. I think that that is something that needs to be added, just so you know. But also, you know, when this comes up, they have new things added. I still don't know what this thing is. What is it? Silo. Silo or Shiloh? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Ooh, it's like a pink and blue. Blue day. Do I need another tree? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Apparently, I needed another tree. It's very pink and bluey. So. So so so. I'm gonna be telling you the decor list. Obviously, you can get all of this in multiple colors. Um. Okay. Okay, let's let's go. This is gonna take long. So the craftable items are let's get the craft out. The directional sign, the barrel, the hitching post, the park bench, the picnic table, the upright pole. Is that this? What's an upright pole? How do you get an upright pole? Well that's not there. That's not there, so I don't know what they're talking about. The upright pole isn't there. The wooden lamp post, the round bale, the decorative dot rock, the ground pole, the cavaletti jump, the basic cross rail, the basic vertical, the basic oxa, Swedish oxa, the basic cross rail jump, basic vertical jump, but it's large, basic oxa large, basic Swedish jump large. And these small text signs, so you can put like words on these. I think they just do not have that upright pole, which they need to add, because they said it's there. Okay, now we're going to the shop only ones. These are all the items you can get from the shop. You can actually get the doghouse, which makes me think maybe they're gonna bring little pets. They might. I hope they do. So you get a fancy ground pole, which I think is this thing. No, it's just a ground pole. I don't know what the fancy ground pole looks like. Um, you can get a fancy cross rail jump, fancy vertical jump, fancy oxa jump. Is this the fancy? Yeah, fin fancy cross rail jump, so I'm guessing it's because of the wings. The wings are what makes it fancy. Um, fancy vertical jump, fancy, fancy oxa jump. Fancy Swedish oxa jump. So all of the jumps come in small and large. I think this is the large one. Yep. And then they come in small, so you can 
have different heights and stuff. They have a beach umbrella, which obviously isn't here. They have the dog house, which is over here, which but you can actually buy it, so it might pop up on one of the stores, which makes me think that they might be bringing little little pets, little companions, which would be awesome. They have a small horse shelter. Ooh, I haven't seen that, but I do want that. I, might, I can put that in the pasture. That's cool. And then they have a large horse shelter. Um, I'll get them, and like hopefully the horses go in them. Then they have the lounge chair, the mailbox, the pylon. I don't know what pylon is. The round bale feeder, um, the silo, which is this thing. I have no idea what this thing is. Water fountain, water trough, water well. Water well is over here. Um, wind turbine. Ooh, they have a wind turbine. They have a windmill. That's nice. Decorative light. Green bushy tree. Decorative green bushy tree. This is the green one. I do have the light green one as well. Decorative tall conifer. Decorative wide conifer. Decorative conifer. This decorative conifer decorative palm tree i don't know why they all have to have the word decorative in front of them how are they decorative Ooh, there's a herd of three wild andalusians let me go over to blizzard and catch one um how why do you need to put the word decorative in front of everything when they all look the same don't know someone please tell me uh where were we decorative bush Decorative snowy conifer, decorative tall snowy conifer, decorative white snowy conifer. Goodness me, there's loads of decorative conifers. Then we go to a decorative uh, bush, obviously I've said that. Then we have a short barrel cross country jump, log cross country jump, gate cross country jump, short roll top cross country jump. I'm going the wrong way. Um, short roll top cross country jump. Table cross country table cross country jump table cross country jump two corner cross country jump log pile cross country jump long barrel cross country jump okay just assume all of these are cross country jumps large roll top raised log raised raised log and wall and those are all the cross country jumps log bench campfire campfire plus log benches lamp posts string lights decorative root one decorative root two decorative root three I thought there might be a I don't even care horse but there's not but I'll catch these guys anyway I'll catch them anyway I'm gonna be doing another island unique care horse hunt soon because I've got one and now that makes me happy and want more because I managed to find one let me just double check that none of these are island unique cares um, no, they're not. Okay, let's head back to mainland. Um, where was I? String lights, and then the decorative routes, one to three. Wooden entrance gate, stone entrance gate one, stone entrance gate two, stone entrance gate three. And then you can get the golden apple basket, which is for Robux. Which... It's a bit silly, but also, like, it's handy because then you can just get the golden apple horses from there on your island rather than have to go and look at it on other islands, which is really good if you have Robux to spend. If not, then it's fine because the, it will be somewhere. It will be on an island and you can find it. But that is the whole island, not the island, the decor list. So there's a new barn and pasture update, obviously three new barn upgrades is the 10 stool, the 14 stool and the 18 stool. So when you click edit and you click edit barn you can upgrade and I currently have the 10 stool but um, it increases your stools and it increases your item storage which is really cool. Um, so it does that and then the pasture upgrades is 10 12 14 and 18 so i currently have 12 so that's not new but i can upgrade it to 14 and then i can upgrade it to 
18. They're not able to add more patch upgrades at this time. They will possibly add them in the future. I swear there used to be a little house in the corner of the pasture. Oh well. Um, but they will not be able to add any more barn stores for the foreseeable future, basically. They But, but they plan on adding loads of different uh, styles and stuff. Okay, so there is um, a new riding area on Stable Island. Let's go over here. I think you click edit and then you click edit riding arena and then you change it to large empty indoor arena and then you can um, decorate it yourself so I'll do that and then you go in and you can decorate it yourself which is really cool you can put your own jumps and poles and stuff so I'm going to be doing that um, and then hosting probably like shows and stuff on my island that would be fun um one tack accessories take on the space once again obviously they're now in the vault um upon logging in you will be re-rewarded for your already completed achievements this is due to a past oversight the amount of tokens xp you receive will depend on how many achievements you completed prior to the update. I got like 200,000. People got like 10, 60k. I got 200,000, which is crazy. Crazy. Um, you will also receive five backpack upgrade kits. Obviously, I've already explained that. And they have added new training activities, completed achievements. I don't know what that means. And then it obviously says horses in your barn can now use their stool run outs if they have one. Which we can see over here, which I love, I love, love, love that update. Um, do we have anything else to say? I don't think we do, I think that is everything. Okay, you can now add a horse to a barn stall with a horse already in it. It will just automatically put the horse that's already in it in your inventory and then the other horse in the barn stall. Um, so that's something new that they've added because you used to have to remove the horse and then um, add another one separately. And then they have added um, nameplates to the stables, but I think it's only when you have, yeah, only when you have the full upgrade. Let me see how much it will cost to upgrade. Twenty five thousand. So we will do that soon. Um, but yeah, they'll add nameplates of the horses and their breeds, which is really cool. Um, I think that that is everything. They're just apologizing for how bumpy the release of this update has gone. And it's seemingly um, underwhelming for a lot of people, which yes, it is. But also it's a huge update so obviously it can't be as good as you hope and there will have some issues but they are fixing them um they want to expand the content available on stable island even further and plan to in the future additionally despite how it may seem due to the multiple times we rescheduled this update we were actually very limited in the amount of time we had to work on this update for a few different reasons they worked on the update for a little under two weeks in total in the new year they will begin to have a lot more available time to devote to new and exciting content updates for wild horse island and yeah um so they haven't had a lot of time which is understandable um they're running a whole game and like it's constantly increasing the amount of players that play the game did I upgrade the pasture? No, I didn't. It looks huge. Um, but yeah. And they said next year they will have a lot more time, which hopefully means that the event horses will even look nicer. But anyway, for now, that is pretty much everything I have to say. And that I have 
to help you guys with so if you are missing stuff go to Shella on mainland and check your vault I don't think it puts horses in there I think it just puts tack and stuff for those of you who have lost horses I think it's best to contact the directors um, oh look at the look at the sheds I want this shed I want it I bought it. Oh, they have two. I don't like the purple one. Then they have the lounger. They have another crossbow. And they have the fancy vertical upright jump thing. That's large. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, yeah, contact the people directly, I think. I think that would be the best option. But anyway, I hope you are enjoying this game. Don't forget, guys, now to comment down below who wants me to check out their private island in a video if you've done it up. And I will. But anyway, I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.